This day and this month of colorectal cancer awareness is very personal to us at WFMY News 2. Our own Julie Luck was recently diagnosed after a routine colonoscopy. Well, today the News 2 family is wearing blue in some form or fashion. Here's a few of the posts. Some of the faces, the names you'll recognize, some you won't. But I got to tell you, all of them are on Team Judy, Julie, and all of them are looking forward to the day that she is cancer free. Over and over again, Julie has used her voice to urge people to get screened. And Two Wants to Know and Consumer Reports looked into some of the at-home screening tests. For instance, ColorGuard is an at-home test to screen for colon cancer. I did one of these tests several years ago. But I got to tell you this, some folks who have used this at-home test are getting surprise medical bills. Now here's why. Under the Affordable Care Act, only routine screening tests are covered. If you take this at-home test and then the result is positive, then oftentimes your follow-up colonoscopy can be coded as an uncovered diagnostic test or screening. The colonoscopy would have been fully covered if the color guard test hadn't been used first. Color Guard now has language on its website saying, although millions of patients have access to the follow-up colonoscopy with no out-of-pocket costs, and then it says not all do. So as always, we want you to talk to your doctor and look at what's covered to find the best screening tool for you.